sounded like one of those goofy headlines that couldn't possibly be real, but it was. Les Trent on the tragic freak accident in which a man was killed when a dog stepped on a loaded rifle. Dog bites man. You see headlines like that all the time. But dog shoots man? That's a rare one. But cops say it happened to this guy, 30-year-old Joseph Smith. Smith was in the passenger seat of his buddy's pickup truck. In the back, hunting gear and a rifle and a dog. According to the police, a canine belonging to the owner of the pickup stepped on the rifle, causing the weapon to discharge. Smith was fatally shot in the back. It's not known who owned the gun. His friend is absolutely beside himself. Chris Brown is Smith's boss at a plumbing business in Wichita, Kansas. He says this photo shows Smith with his own beloved dog, Ruger. How do you process losing somebody that close to you in circumstances this bizarre? So bizarre. I don't quite understand why we would ever lose Joe in such a strange way. Smith's family is outraged that the circumstances of his death are leading to some insensitive commentary on social media. Did the dog have a hunting license also, goes one snarky remark. And this, I believe the dog had been planning this for some time. To any of those people, I would say shame on you. A GoFundMe account has been set up for the dead man's family. We've got details on that over at InsideEdition.com. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37, and it reads this. For with the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, nothing shall be impossible. Koholayim la, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekak Redash, double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Luke chapter 1, verse 37, and it reads this. For with the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, nothing shall be impossible. And as you see, man, you know, this may be this may seem and be unbelievable to the carnal minded. But to us of this truth, of this faith, of this belief, of this trust, of this fear of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, we know that all things are possible, man. And this was judgment by Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And, you know, Esau loves that sword, man. And what, what, what was Esau and his buddy about to go do? hunting the lord had had this set up and so calculated to 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 <laughs> put this cave gorilla to death by the hands of a dog man call hello yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rakach radash nothing is impossible with yahweh bahashim yahweh shai let's continue and it's going to be quick and straight to the point i ain't going to dig too deep but this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 39, starting off at verse 28, and it reads this. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So again, this was this cave gorilla's lot to go out like this by the hands of a dog. You know, and uh, the Lord, obviously the Lord had it in his buddy's spirit to have the, the rifles, the guns loaded and to be an idiot and to put him in the back seat with the dog where the dog was able to, you know, to walk upon them and be near them instead of putting the guns in the trunk or something like that. And, 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 and furthermore, not loading them up. But again, this also goes into uh, Job chapter 33 uh, verses 14 to 15. OK, when you go to sleep, the Lord gives you gives you your instructions for the next day. Verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. And this is how the Lord did it right here. Verse 30, teeth of wild beast. OK, but at this point, you know, that obviously the dog didn't bite him or, you know, try to attack him. The Lord just had 
his owner do it the way he did it and had that dog come about and had that 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 uh uh rifle that gun whatever type of uh weapon it was whether it was an AR or a shotgun or whatever the case may be but he had that 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 uh, uh, a weapon you know directly pointed at him and had that dog uh uh, uh obviously you know step on it or walk how, how, however it happened at, at the right time teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked this is the wicked right here you're looking at this is the, a child of the wicked punishing the wicked to destruction they shall rejoice so the spirit that Yahweh Shimei put on his buddy and the dog is rejoicing they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth. And the phone is chiming in on it. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. So and this also proves, too, there's no such thing as free will. There's no such thing as a wrong place, wrong time. No, everything's calculated. Everything is predestinated. It was commanded for this cave gorilla, this red silverback cave gorilla to go out like this, man. Point blank, period. And and and, and the spirits that was on these, uh, uh, his buddy and, and the dog rejoice at this uh, uh, tremendous, your pa, miraculous, excellent work that they did that I commend them on. Call Holo Yahabashim, Yahabashim, Kakadash. Because again, like I said before, what was what were they going to go do? Hunt. And what does Esau love? He loves that gun. So what did Yahweh Shai say about living by that sword? Let's get that real quick. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 52, and it reads this. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Now, again, this is this is so, you know, your pa, man, how these scriptures are calculated and accurate when it comes to uh, uh, the world that we're living in. Because Esau lives by this sword. And, and, and as you just heard from the testimony of the reporter and everybody else, Esau died by this sword. And that's how a lot of these cave gorillas is going to be, you know, judged, man. You know, some of them might be uh, mauled by animals or and it's also going to be, you know, Edomites against, you know, Egyptian against Egyptian, etc. But, you know, hey, man, the scriptures don't lie. So let's close out here, because like I said, to, to, to the carnal minded, this is strange. But to us, this is your pa. And if you don't know what your pa means, it means beautiful. OK, so to the to the carnal effeminate, weak-minded, this is uh, strange. This is unbelievable. But to us, this is uh, 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 marvelous. So let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus again, also known as Sirach, chapter 10, verse 13, and it reads this. For pride is the beginning of sin, and this nation, these people right here, are the most prideful people on the planet. They believe in their wicked, abominable, filthy, polluted hearts, which is your mind, that they will never, ever be taken down. They will always rule. They will always have everybody in subjection and submission to them. And they will never, ever, ever have to pay for any criminal act, crime, oppression, rape, rob, pillage, murder, anything that they have done. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that have it shall pour out abomination. And that's what they push forth. Abominations, wickedness, unrighteousness, etc. Read on. And therefore, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, brought upon them strange calamities. So again, so to everybody else in the world that sees this, this is going to be strange. A dog shot a man. How the hell is that? They don't even have opposable thumbs. Hey, everything is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And again, Luke one, Luke chapter one, verse thirty-seven. With the Most High, nothing is impossible. So, Rock ten, uh, Marie from the middle, and therefore Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai brought upon them 
strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. This was an overthrow. This was judgment from the Lord, man. And, you know, he, 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 this, is, this is only the beginning of this nation and also this man right here's judgment because he's going to go through hell in the in the uh in the kingdom and as a matter of fact right now through the name through the power and, through the power and spirit and name of Yahabashim Yahusha I claim that cave gorilla for my plantation because he this this is only the beginning man because when he when he when he comes back when he's reborn back into the kingdom psh, he gonna wish he ain't never ever came back so we're going to leave it right there, man. And again, man, it may be strange to everybody else, but it's, it's marvelous. It's beautiful to us because the Lord has enlightened us. He has awoken us up to his good pleasure and to what's going on into this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding this truth. So Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to the truth and say, Aki and wa So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom are leading to some insensitive commentary on social media. Did the dog have a hunting license also, goes one snarky remark. And this, I believe the dog had been planning this for some time. Hey, yo, Salaki, I know I said that was it, but hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> planning this for some time. Been planning this for some time. The dog had been planning this for some time. Hey, it was Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai planning this for some time, and it was predestinated. Hey, Amen. So, I hope I hope that was a Jake that said that man, because that's a crazy sense of humor, man. Let's let's hear that again one more time. Salakia. I almost forgot about this. This I believe the dog had been planning this for some time. To any of those people. I believe the dog had been planning this for some time. To any of those people, I would say shame on you. A GoFundMe account.